My name is Christopher Knudsen. I am a graduate student at University of Missouri, Kansas City, and I am interested in chemical education, in particularly teaching organic chemistry. I think organic chemistry is a very interesting subject. It can explain things from why certain foods taste the way they do or smell the way they do to how drugs interact and have their effects. Um, and then there's also the kind of puzzle building aspect of it, uh, synthesis and retrosynthesis. Uh, retro how do you put a molecule together? Um, the issue is learning organic chemistry is rather difficult, so I've been seeking ways of making that a little easier. In particularly, the use of educational games and things such as concept maps. I like using games to teach chemistry because they allow students to interact with chemistry outside of the traditional lecture, homework, exam format. Plus, they enjoy playing games more than doing homework or studying for exams. So here are two examples of some games I developed. They're both simple matching games. We just match the appropriate solution and problems together to score points. This one's for teaching structure and bonding. This one is for teaching functional groups. So I'm trying to make learning chemistry more enjoyable, but also more effective, because each of these decks has over 100 examples of molecules that students can learn from. The next step becomes pairing the card game with the reaction or concept map. So you could ask a student a question like, how do you synthesize diallyl disulfide from allyl alcohol? Well, you just go up to the reaction map, find the alcohol, and you can trace the path to the halide down to the file and find the disulfide to get your answer. And then these techniques build on each other and build each other until you get an entire course built around different learning techniques.